Actually, I've had a company I've been working on some plays, but it's something that's quite abandoned ever since. More wine? Yeah, sure. What kind of play? Well, there is this one play. Uh, we never really finished writing it, but it's set by the sea. The sea that's forever starting and restarting a palpable calm, uh, visible reticence. Probably it water and this there, there's this man, the great roof, refreshness and exhalation of the sea that restores his soul. So like so. I'm pretty sure my pinky toenail is totally gonna fall off soon. <laughs> I thought we were saying things nobody wanted to hear. Please ID. He doesn't eat, okay? There's a protest scheduled tomorrow. <laughs> what kind of protest? What? Nothing. Come on, what? Don't you have useful things to do? You're not serious. No, I mean, if you really want to send a message to the people who are responsible for this mess, protest aren't going to cut it. I'm doing something. What are you doing? This is just like in high school. Always complaining and never acting on it. Oh, please don't create your stereotypes. I mean, it's easy for you to be an idealist. You have no responsibilities. When was the last time you had a fucking job? Bra burning and sticking flowers in the barrel of a gun doesn't count. Anyways, what I'm saying, if we can't make any difference, there's no point in stressing yourself and others. If you're not standing on the side of the oppressed, then you're back in the oppressors. Don't be so dramatic. No one's going to take you seriously if all you do is overreact. Alex, please. Really, Mary? Why should I? Alex. This is fun. Are you fucking kidding me? Am I the only one seeing this? Am I the only one seeing that John is being such a... I didn't want to bring this up so early in the evening. 
But I'm leaving this now after the protest. What? You're not serious. I will go. But you know how dangerous that is. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Mazel tov. Oh my god, Sophia, I'm so sorry. Torches, everybody? No, everyone knows. What are you going to do about it? Well, she can't keep it. I know it's your call, but I have to agree with Eddie on this one. Who's the daddy? Does it really matter? He was a patient. I was taking care of him and things just happened. It was weird and unprofessional, so I passed him on to one of my colleagues. I found out yesterday. I, I just didn't know how to tell all of you. It was my mom on the phone. She found the pregnancy test while taking out the trash. I just don't know what I want to do about it. This is no world for a kid. Yes, we're in shit. But we need to keep on going. It is for this high purpose that we now call people at home across the seas who will make our cause their own. We ask them to stand calm and firm and unite in this time of trial. The task will be hard, but we will survive.